Howdy, y'all. Hi, guys. It's Ryan. And Angela. From r &A Music. That's right. Your favorite mom and pop guitar shop and music lesson studio deep in the heart of Texas. We're back. Which is where we are. We are back. <laughs> we should have done this last week. We should have. But I don't even remember what happened last week. Things. Life. Stuff. Has it entered an extreme crazy zone. It has. Apparently. Entering to the crazy, crazy zone. zone. We got some sweet ukuleles though. Yeah. We got a whole, whole passel. Uh, Ukes Ranch. Ukes. Happy. Oh yeah, that's right. Ukes. Happy Ange. Ukes for Ange. You see it? Can't, you can't see it because it's invisible. It's an invisible uke. We got a Wonder Woman uke over there. So that's what happened last week. We got ukes. We couldn't film videos. That's, that's what it was. <laughs> but yeah. All right, we're gonna answer some questions. Yeah. Let's get to it. Welcome back to another episode of Ask RNA. Yay. If you're new here, I'm uh, Ryan. I'm Angela. We're married. We are. We own a music store. We teach lessons. And uh, we shoot videos occasionally where we answer questions from people all over the world about Joy stuff things. and things. Yeah. In Texas. Uh -huh. <laughs> so if you're new here, please subscribe. I think you're going to like it. And uh, if you're not new here, you're one of our regulars, thank you for coming back. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Love the you, algorithm guys. loves it, do all that stuff. Uh, leave your comments, all right? All that good stuff. If you want to support a small business, you can always get your swaggity swag from our hey. Teespring store. Link in the description down below. Go get you some of that swaggity swaggity goodness. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty soon we're gonna have some shirts here in the shop though, because we, ord we ordered some from our local place. But you can get your RNA swaggity swag online, and we're gonna answer some questions. Yeah. Let's get to it. All First right. question, just fun guitar. Hey, thank you for the answers. RNA, hashtag KTMA, hashtag Deep Blue Sea. Mm -hmm. New question, do you think now we have virtual reality 3D headsets on next gen consoles mm -hmm. that there will be streaming of concerts using this technology because of ongoing restrictions on large gatherings? Ooh, Ooh good question. We don't really do the VR thing. We don't. We haven't gotten into that I've yet. never used a VR headset, ever. I haven't either. We do have a PlayStation 4. Yeah. I think you're able to do that? I think we can't. Yeah, we could do it on a PS4. Something like that. I don't or know. Or something. We have an Xbox One. I think we can with our new phones. Really? We have a little connector thing. Huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. We just need a little connector visor. The VR visor. I don't know. That would might be... That would be weird. Yeah. Can you do it with glasses? I don't know. Probably. Do glasses get in the way really of the VR experience? Yeah. Um, so do you think that they would be doing that? You know, probably. You know, I would see it as like doing um, like avatars. You know, you'd have your avatar and people would show up as their avatar. Just like they do with any other video game. Yeah. And people could show up as their avatar. And so kind of like how a Ready Player One is. Because they go into the game, playing the game through virtual reality. I haven't seen it. Oh. Spoilers. Anyways, but they have these VR people. And then when they come on the outside of the world, they're like, who are you? And they didn't have these identities. Oh, yeah, yeah. But they're able to interact with each other. So I can see that happening if that's a thing. Is that a thing? I don't know. If it probably, is. well, I think it probably depends on the band, right? I think only bands that are really big yeah. and have the budget for that could pull yeah. it off. Like Metallica would probably do it. Yeah. Because they film like every live show mm -hmm. and they record it and then they, they release it. You know, you, you can go and watch them on YouTube. Like, here was us, you know, really here was the show <laughs> in Moscow we did. Here was the show we did in yeah. Dallas. Here's so the all show. they'd have to do was, is get their show Mm -hmm. Like, or they could just be on a stage anywhere and per be yeah. perform, and then just like a video game, they just put in the virtual reality. People. But you gotta have the cameras, I think, to. Oh, I'm sure they have it. I'm, if anybody can Metallica. get a hold of it, is Metallica, Metallica would probably do it. Yeah, they could probably Metallica, do it. like Taylor Swift, like anybody likes like so sells out arenas every single stinking time. Yeah. would be able to do it. Green Day, probably. and I'm sure that they would. You know. Who was it Paul's nephew did sound for? Katy Perry. Katy Perry. Mm-hmm. 
The Bitter Bassman's nephew does like sound for legit big time people. Mm -hmm. Anyways, but yeah, big time. So yeah, anybody yeah. with that kind of money would be able to do it. I think your lower level bands. That'd be pretty cool though. That are not bajillionaires. <laughs> Yeah, because then you can sit in your living room and you have like the best, but then you'd have how to much pay. Would you, how much would you be willing to pay for that though? Some people would be willing to pay a lot in order to have that experience that has never been done before. That's the thing. It's like to be able to say I had front row tickets and you were actually there and it's like you were just like you were in the virtually. snake pit. But you're virtually, but they have people like monitors, just like chat room monitors that say, yeah. hey, you can only go so far. No, you got nosebleeds. Sorry. That would suck to you get got, virtual nosebleeds. You can have virtual nosebleed tickets. Mm -hmm. Free. But the thing is that you could probably rig it so that everybody could have I like pay per pit. view. Yeah, like, like that. Oh, yeah. If everybody wanted to pay for a snake pit. But you got it because it was virtual. Yeah. I don't know. You know? And I'm sure you could probably pay extra if it was just like, it's just me and my wife. We want to sell it out like on our headset or like no one's around it's just us it's just it's us. like a place for me and you yeah i don't know that'd be cool you know someone's gonna steal it now that we set it out into the just fun guitars and series listening God, series. yeah such a tattletale hear that motorcycle yeah did y'all hear that motorcycle <laughs> yeah we should stream ask rna to virtual that would be weird Probably, mm -hmm. it'll probably happen. I'm sure as more and more. They say that that's the next, the next big thing will be virtual reality. Like it's yeah. it's it's already kind of here, but it's not really fully realized yet. Right. So in the next decade or so, like that's going to be the thing, I guess. Mm -hmm. We'll we'll be about a decade late to it because that's just how we are with technology. We tiptoe into the tech. To the two. Yeah. Lips. But yeah. So interesting concept. It'd probably be really cool. Probably so. I I'd be on board with that. Yeah, I don't know when it's gonna happen. It'll probably happen. Just fun guitar. I don't know when, but great question. What do you guys and gals think? Would y'all watch a show on VR headsets of your favorite artists? Mm -hmm. Tell us below in the What'd comments be cool section. Cool is if you could VR like past people who are gone. Like if they can do like their like you had a concert mm. of people who have have passed. You know. Yeah. Like it would a, be all digital. It'd be fake. Yeah, no, but it'd still be cool to sit there and like, you know. Woodstock. I don't know why my brain went there, but like if I put on a headset and it was like Kurt Cobain sitting on that stool in front of me and he did an acoustic set of his first album. That'd be sweet. Yeah. And you're just sitting there watching him and he's just like, but it looks like he's sitting right in front of you. That'd be awesome. That would be pretty rad. Don't tell them what. Don't tell them what's going to happen. See, if it happens, you know you've heard it first and they stole the idea from me because I don't know how to do programming. I need 10% commish for that. <laughs> Thanks for the question, Chris. Just fun <laughs> guitar. Next question, Terry Starks. Hi, Terry. Hi, Terry. It's been a while. He said, Hi. sorry, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> I was sick and watched but couldn't write. So yeah. I know this is a sick ha 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 question. <laughs> But has anyone in Canton caught the COVID-19? Because mm. in Dallas, the numbers keep climbing. Oh, oh we got the a Rona. COVID question. I don't the know Rona. if we'll get demonetized for talking about the Rona or not. Yes, I think we can't say it all know. the time. Um, okay. Anyone in Canton? You know, I don't know about Canton specifically, but I can tell you about Van Zant mm -hmm. County, which is where Canton is. Mm -hmm. um, one of the uh, district judges here in town I'm friends with on Facebook, and he keeps putting out the thing, three new cases in Van Zant County. And he, there, there's a tracker of, mm -hmm. of how many there are in the county. And through today, so far I saw there have been 70 confirmed cases in Van Zant County. Mm -hmm. um, and if you go in and read it, there, I don't know if there's any in Canton or not. I think Probably, there was like six or six. Some, it was a low number. Yeah. It's always it's been in outlying areas and not in Canton specifically. Right. But you know, someone pointed out, well, you know, our our county has a population of fifty five thousand people. Mm -hmm. So you know, divide seventy by fifty five thousand is point zero zero one percent mm -hmm. of our county's population has tested positive for 
that there's so they're saying like that's a pretty it's a pretty low number yeah if you break it down for our population heck yeah so probably you know we had one of our students who plays on a baseball team and one of his teammates thought they had it and so this kid he didn't come to his lesson because he said well one of his teammates was being tested but it turns out his teammate was tested didn't ha didn't have it didn't have it so yeah you know a lot of people are getting tested yeah a lot of people are coming out with negative because they still have the you know summer flu type symptoms or they get hot and then they get a little cough because we still deal with pollen here yeah we still deal with all this stuff Allergies. so but if he, it's messing with people's heads so they jump straight to the vid so um the vid mm -hmm. someone call I it like it the vid so they um and but it's it's negative and that's happening all over especially east texas my mom works for a lab and that's 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 pretty much how it's, right. it's going down yeah that's right angela's mama works in a lab mm -hmm. so the, i did see that they're saying right now as of today which is what today the 23rd mm -hmm. something like that no, today's the 25th. 25th? Mm -hmm. See, I don't know what it is. Yeah. I was about to say August. That's what I'm like. You ha I have a niece and you have a nephew's birthday tomorrow. That's right. My nephew, your niece. Yes. Our She's niece. She's not my niece. niece. He's yes. not your nephew. Yes. Our niece. On my side and on your side. Blood nephew. Blood niece. But she can be my niece too. Yes, she is. I'll take her. I'll and accept I'll take, her. I'll take him. Whatever. I guess. <laughs> uh, today's the 25th. Yes. Of June. They say that uh, numbers are spiking, like in Tarrant County, Dallas, mm -hmm. you know, uh, large metropolitan places in Texas, Houston, San Antonio, stuff like that. Yeah. But, uh, but the population's high, so obviously yeah. the, the, the swing is going to be a little bit higher. Yeah. But as far as like everything. in Canton... I don't, maybe a couple, nobody that we know personally. Right. I was talking to a student today. She was like, you know, husband's getting upset because the, the numbers are getting higher. She was like, well, because everybody's out and especially the protesting and all this kind of stuff, there's bigger groups of people getting together, blah, 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 blah. I was like, it's the same thing in the fall whenever the flu jumps up or chronic diarrhea or <laughs> um, RSV because yeah. school's back in session. And now you have a bunch of kids sick, you know, with cooties. They just, they're just going to get it because bacteria is warming around because they've been at home all day and there's no interaction. So yeah, of course, yeah. you know, but it's just, that's just how it works. But if you still break it, interestingly, I, but that doesn't mean I can just say home. for Van Zandt County population 55,000, we have a 0 0.001%. Yeah, it's really low. So, if you think about it, what about the state of Texas, 26 million people, 27 mm -hmm. million people in Texas, 28 million, I don't know. Something like that. How how many cases do we have? I think what 27 is, million. What is that breakdown? Because Australia was 23 or 24 yeah. million. We got more people in Texas than Australia. Mm -hmm. We're bigger than Australia. Stop. Literally. <laughs> Anyways. Crikey. But the numbers, you know, it's yeah. just, it's a numbers game. And it's yeah. sad and it's still scary for a lot of people and I understand that, but... You know. So thanks for the question, Terry. Take care of yourself. Yeah. Take care of yourself, man. Be careful out there. Mm -hmm. Glad to Glad see to you see and you back. Mm -hmm. So thank you for commenting. <gasps> Final question. Hooray! Only three questions this week. <laughs> it's my kind of answer. Angela asking. is excited. Because I'm gonna be, hungry. It's going to be quick and easy. And we got to go get dinner after this. Luis Santiago. It says, hello from Streamwood 2. Illinois. Oh, Illinois. Mm -hmm. I just saw the I I period. Yes. I was like, where's Streamwood 2? I don't know. I think that's what it is. A video game? Could be. <laughs> Probably capital I, capital lowercase L. Mm -hmm. It looks like a 2. Yeah. I've mm -hmm. been playing a lot of drop C songs, mostly God Smack, with 10 to 46 strings and tired of the strings flapping around. Went to the, my local guitar shop and he suggested 12 to 60. Interesting. And now, sounds great, but my fingers are killing me. I can imagine so. I also changed to a thicker pick. Chicken pick. Any tips? Ooh. All right. Those are Lewis, heavy strings. Lewis, yeah. 
Drop C. Oh, I just happen to have a guitar here. What? Which is also in the drop C. I'm trying to think, what's the song I know? No one can hear that. They can't hear that. I have it in drop C. We have a couple of tunes that I'm working on. Mm -hmm. Schecter. A couple of songs I'm working on with some of our students that are in drop C. Mm -hmm. Coincidentally. And uh, what I'm using is 10 to 52s. You can get uh, a couple of different brands made that. Mm -hmm. uh, Daddario, which we carry. Daddario. Mm -hmm. um, I'm super sad because my man John Piz doesn't work there anymore. I know, super sad. He's retired. Now he's still doing music, but yeah. my guy, I, I used to know a guy at Daddario. Um, but uh, GHS mm -hmm. has the 10 to 52s. I mean, most brands now will carry 10 to 52 skinny top, heavy bottom. Mm -hmm. um, I like those, honestly, for drop D even. Um, drop C sharp. Drop C is about as low as I would, tuning I would go with 10 to 52s. Um, lower than that, you probably need, you know, like the 12 to 60s would work if you're going to go, you know, drop B or something. But I feel like <laughs> for the C's, for the drop C. I was like, drop B's. <laughs> drop some B's. Drop them B's. <laughs> B's love being dropped. <laughs> <laughs> they will sting you though mm -hmm. if you drop too many bees. Um, so kind of dirty. I I would try the ten to fifty twos. I like them, and you know your your treble side strings, the G, B, and E. You know they they are a little slinky if you're doing leady stuff, but I kind of like that. Um, it's real easy to bend and get real sludgy kind of stuff like that. Sweet. Z you know. Sister Sludge. Uh, Sister Sludge. That'd be a good name for a band. Mm -hmm. Cousin Sludge. <laughs> Brother Sludge. Sludge Cousins. <laughs> sludge Cousins. Um, I like the I like those. 10 to 52. 12 to 60 is pretty... That's pretty fat for, for drop C. I think that's too thick. You could do like 11 to 60s or like 11 to 50s. You know, or 11 to 52 would probably be fine. I, for me, 12 to 60 is a little too girthy for that tuning. Lower than that? Mm -hmm. Probably, yeah. 12 to 60s. But, um, yeah. 10 to 52s, that's what I like on mine for mm -hmm. that, uh, that tuning. That's what I suggest. Yeah. There you go. Show off my Schecter. Let it fall on my head. So Ooh. nice. Ah. So nice. I gotta look at the lens. I keep looking at the screen. So. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. And that makes a good thumbnail. So like, oh, they're gonna talk about guitars in this video. <coughs> Psych. <laughs> no, we kidding. didn't. We talked about VR and we talked about the vid. Mm -hmm. And we talked about tuning. What do you guys and gals like to use if you play in drop C? What is your preferred gauge? Mm -hmm. I offered my advice, but that's just advice. It's just personal preference, what I like. But uh, what do you guys and gals like to use? I say 10 to 52. Check those out, Lewis. Get you some. Everybody's different, you know. Treat, home, you, home, treat yourself. <laughs> treat yourself. Home dude at your guitar shop made like that for him. Yeah. But that doesn't mean it works for you. So obviously it's kind of killing your fingers. Firm pick is always good. I use a 1.5 millimeter most of the time for mm -hmm. everything. Um, so I would not go lighter than a 0 .88. 0 .88 or thicker would be good. But yeah, there you go. That's the, my advice. And that's the final question. Now we get to go have dinner. Hey, <laughs> How hey, hey. Shortest Ask RNA almost of all time. All right. Thank you guys for watching. If you have a question for next week, please type it down below in the comments section. Mm -hmm. uh, go check out. I will throw this out there. I have a student of mine. Who we're doing some like music production type stuff. Yeah. Showing her how to use, you know, a Reaper and like recording some music. And uh, I finally got her to 
put one of her songs out. And she put it on a YouTube channel. It's not guitar driven stuff. It's more like electronic type music. Yeah. You know, kind of programmed, sort of, but also kind of played. No. Go check it's it really out. It's really interesting. Yeah, it's like it's like good meditation music. Mm -hmm. I said, this is great because I actually listen to stuff like this when I'm trying to get my blood pressure to come down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> trying to relax. I have a track that I bought. I yeah. paid money for. Yes, he did. That's supposed to like help you kind of relax. So this music she wrote reminds me of that. Uh, cool. Her name's Kaylin. I'll put a link down in the description of this video. You can go check out her first song that she created, put out in the universe. Mm -hmm. That was her goal. Let's create something from nothing and then put it out there in the universe for people to check out. All right. So if you guys wouldn't mind going and checking out my students' That'd be great. First song, give her a little bit of encouragement. Yes, to so keep going. Yeah, pursue keep her going. dreams. Keep going. Just yes. and be creative. Keep working hard and do Yeah. Yeah. Do your thing. Yes. And that was our goal. Create something, put it out there. Mm -hmm. People some people are gonna hate it, some people are gonna love it. It doesn't matter. You hate is gonna hate. You put it out there. Mm -hmm. Haters gonna be hating. So go check that out. And if you watch this whole video from beginning to end, Woo, as you long are winner, as it winner, winner, is, chicken oh my dinner. gosh, you are you what? a legend. We have a secret hashtag of the day mm -hmm. for you guys and gals. Uh, type it with your comment or question down below, and we'll know you watched this whole video. Oh, hour and a half of it. And we'll think you're awesome. Mm -hmm. what, what's, a, what's a good hashtag of the day? Drop C. Hashtag drop C. <laughs> hashtag drop C S E A or C C <laughs> hashtag drop C mm -hmm. secret hashtag of the day get in there and uh, thank you guys so much we appreciate it ask a question for next week and I'm gonna try to get some more videos out I'm, I'm feeling real guilty inside yes he is he uh, mentions it to me all the time about not getting enough videos I'm out. like y'all love us and you know the world is crazy right now and you're very forgiving and so supportive and so wonderful you'll give us a little grace if we miss one video here or there but he's just like mr. panic attack panic attack <laughs> panic attack <laughs> I gotta get these videos out there he has to. And it's great. And I, you know. Consistency. It's good. It's key. But you, you don't to need to. Stress out about yeah. it. Yeah. Because it's not that big of a deal. In the grand scheme. In the grand of scheme of life. So wise. Yes, I am. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep the music alive. Don't forget it. Music needs you. And you need the music. And we need to keep it alive for the next generation. Mm -hmm. And keep ourselves alive. Yes. And keep them alive. Keep yourself alive. Take care of yourself. Do everything you can. Wash them hands. To keep yourself alive. Yeah. Brush your teeth. <laughs> Take Wash care of yourself. Hands. Get up. Go for a walk. Go for a walk. Turn off the television. Cut back on the sugar. Stop playing video games. Do some Pilates. Be nice to your mother. Call your mom. Call your mom. Call your dad. Oh, Lord. <sighs> Say a prayer. <laughs> All right. Be good. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. So exciting. You know what this is? No. What? A dinner hurdy, bell. A hurdy gurdy. I was like, rrr, 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 rrr. oh, it's dinner time. <laughs> we go get some. Ring the dinner some, bell. Go get some wheat ding, bread. Ding, 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 oh. ding, 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 Our microphone battery is almost dead. But it's not. But it ain't. We made it. Twenty-four minutes of exquisite Ask RNA entertainment.